The way David Dobrik eats makes me horny. You know what? I want to say screw you to my parents for this because they would always make fun of me for how I eat. Look at this. I turn people on. <laughs> I don't know. I just cram a bunch of food into my mouth, which I guess some people find amusing. And I appreciate that. I will continue eating for you. Oh, hey guys. Didn't know you guys were going to come so soon. <laughs> um, I'm trying to open this door actually because, so we, we, have, we, have, we have a lot of break-ins. So we put a nail here so it doesn't open, but it also ruins the aesthetic of the house. But now I can't take the nail out. Oh. I broke the hammer. Are you serious? This episode's gonna suck. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome to my house door. Last person I called, Casey Neistat, a YouTuber buddy of mine. I was just seeing where he was. Pretty late too. It was at um, 10.05 p.m. I don't want to show his number. Can you show us proof that you have Casey's number? I do, I swear. First met Emma, it was, it was like meeting someone on crack. Like she doesn't stop. She's so easy to shoot with because she's always talking. So she's always giving you something. She's so fun. She's, she was, she's one of the, my most fun experiences to film with. Am I supposed to be throwing in there? This is my bar cart. I actually don't drink. This is here for my friends. I get most of my work done when my friends are super drunk because I, I film basically everything. The disposable cameras are kind of a new thing that I've been trying out. I just take pictures of like random things that are happening. So this, this would be a perfect moment. F the flash isn't on. Like this, this would be a perfect moment. <laughs> like this, this would be a perfect moment. You guys look so good. See? Me. I hate when people sexualize celebrities. Also me. I would literally f David Dobrik, like sit on my face. Oh, <laughs> I'm like getting turned on. I take all these to the bathroom. I like that a lot. I didn't want to warn you guys, because then you'd be like, it's not safe. <laughs> okay. Oh, a funny joke I found. It's whoever stole my antidepressants, I hope you're happy now. It's pretty good. It's not the greatest. My motherfucking family. <laughs> Just changed the face. These are pictures of me and my parents. These are pictures of when I was younger. Or as Mitch Hedberg would say, every picture of you is when you're younger. These are my siblings. I have three. The middle one's my favorite. This one's my second favorite. This one's my least favorite. I just want everyone to know that I'm officially a hole for David Dobrik. Well, this one's good because it's so f***ing gross. It's so dehumanizing to say that. I'm a hole. I'll treat you like my purse. I'll keep my camera in there when I'm not filming. I would let David Dobrik spit down my throat. Can we find this person and I will spit down their throat right now. I want David Dobrik to shove his Tesla blowtorch in my hole and roast me from the inside out. I should come to you guys for more video ideas because this is great. Liza Koshi. <laughs> this is, this is my, if I, if I could like name my all time favorite collaborator, this is 100% the person Aww. that she was. I mean, we haven't filmed in a while, so I'm saying she was. I'm saying it like she died. She's genuinely the easiest person on planet Earth to make anything with. I still think she's the funniest person I've ever met in my life. I remember one day I got my wisdom teeth taken out and I needed a video to get done and I completely knocked out and she just took over my entire video. I don't know why that meant so much to me, but that was like the coolest thing because I woke up and it was completely done and I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I just did this or you did this. So that was really cool. My friend painted this. This is on an Ikea table. My friend is a, a psycho. And I just recently, I noticed he wrote something on the back. It says, I knew they'd run into you. <laughs> How mysterious is this? I have a feeling this is going to help me in my life in like 20 years. Okay. Tastes like ass. We did it. <laughs> uh, there's, there's not really any like thought process that goes into any of. Whoa! Apologize. It's okay. I'm gonna talk to him. What was that all about? What was that all about? My friend Alex, and this is my grandma. And every selfie I take, which I don't take many, but when I do, I regret all of them because it's the worst when you're going through your phone and someone's sitting right by you and they see that there are selfies. It just, it, it doesn't make you look good. Look at this. It's wherever. Like if, if I'm coming in, sometimes I'll have Natalie, my assistant, just stand and she'll know I'm coming home from a really long day. And as I'm walking in, she'll tilt it towards me as I go to my bed. 
and that's why it's so good because it moves. Dolan Twins. The, the memory I have with them is probably one of the worst. <laughs> it's, um, I, went to, I went to their warehouse and they have this ramp and I drop down it. I don't skateboard and I drop down it and I, I hit my head and I think my brain just went like <laughs> in my skull <laughs> because I hit the ground so hard. My mom called me after that video was up, just screaming at me. You could have died, you could have died. Um, but that was one of the most horrifying things. Don't, don't try to be cool around these guys. It won't work. Oh, the Dolan Twins, yeah, I'll drop it on a skateboard. Jason would survive like through the middle. He'd do really well. Scott would survive the longest. So would Todd and Jeff. Zane would die first. And then the rest of us would just be hanging out, right? Just hanging out. Jason Nash, pass. No, I'm kidding. Jason is, <laughs> Jason's, Jason's also one of my favorites. Um, Jason is like the male version of Liza, which is not a nice thing to say to Liza, but like I'm talking like, like comedy wise, like he's so funny and he's so easy to shoot with as well. Like every time we're, we're talking or rambling, we always find something to do. David Dobrik, if you see this, just know I want to use your <laughs> as a face mask. Well, if you see this, you'll be happy to hear, we're coming out with new merch where you can use my as a face mask. Last song I listened to was actually Notice Me by Scotty Sire. It's my, my, my friend and he just made a new song. Actually, I don't know if I listened to it or if I just downloaded it to put in the video. I actually haven't heard it yet, but it's, <laughs> no, I have, it's really good. It's a really soft carpet. I usually don't allow shoes on it, but I know how Americans are. They like having shoes in all kinds of household settings, so I'm just, Walking around, showing you guys that I'm one of you guys. When, when I'm not, I was born in Slovakia. Here's my passport. I love watching trick shots because I would always try to do them as a kid, and I didn't know how. Yeah, you can't go anywhere now. Okay, 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 okay. It has real grass, and there's a dumbass groundhog in here that's eating all of it. Here's his hole, and he'll come out, and then when you try to talk to him, he'll bury himself. We don't negotiate with terrorists around here, so we're done communicating with this groundhog. We're trying to build a pool here. I've been saying that we're trying to build a pool here for the past year, but it's not working. I didn't want you guys to come because the pool wasn't ready, but I also don't know if the show's gonna be around in 15 years. So I'm glad we're knocking it out now. No, I have guests. You can't do this. Yeah, it's like it has erectile dysfunction. <laughs> I swear this has never happened before. <laughs> it, usually, it usually goes up, I promise. Whatever, this is the car. <laughs> I'd be a teacher. I was really close to a lot of my teachers and I feel like teaching is kind of like being a YouTuber. I don't know, I like teaching people things. I don't know why, even though I've probably never taught any anybody anything, but um, I feel like that'd be a really good time. And I, and I really want to like, I want to go into like the teacher's work room and like talk about the students and be like, this guy sucks and whatever. Remember, safety first. I don't know why people don't wear seatbelts. See you guys. I have a surprise for you guys too. What? Wait, what? I've, well, I've been, I've been, I've been a little under the weather, so I've been taking ginger shots. Why did you let me hug you? So, <laughs> so oh, I you that guys. ain't a ginger shot. That's eating a whole ginger root. So wait a minute, do you have one too? Thank God. Yeah, I got one as well. I had one yesterday for the for the first time. It was the the craziest experience. It's it was. Hot. I think I started hallucinating. So, <laughs> so we're gonna take one. Us. I feel like it's a good start to the morning. So, <laughs> cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Oh, Pretty good. That burned the back of my throat. Boy. That's all the time we have. <laughs>